Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Belinda. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And for those of you who are returning, you're part of my subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting me. Today's video is an addition to the Vlogmas series where I aim to upload a video every single day leading up to Christmas, except weekends. I don't know if I should even be seeing that anymore, given I've struggled a little bit to keep up with the daily uploads, but bear with me and thanks for tuning in. So today's video is for my CESA students. Um, I know I've neglected you for a while, focused on ACCA, but I am back now. I'm ready to address some of the questions that you've left in my comment section on my videos. So yes, if you have any suggestions that you want me to cover during this Vlogmas series, feel free to engage with me in the comments. I do look at them. I do aim to respond to them and I'm happy to cover content that's relevant to you. So our first question, um, it's from KGA three months ago um, where um, they're saying, congratulations on your achievement. Indeed, you're brainy. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to know how relevant is this certification to someone starting off as an IT risk analyst and as well as IT security analyst. Thank you so much for asking that question. And you know what? CISA is the perfect certification for you. In fact, um, IT security is a very important domain. Um, if you'd like to check out the video where I discuss in detail the domains, what percentage they make, and my suggestions on how you should revise, because in my opinion, revise based on the most important chapters, working backwards in a descending order. Um, it is very relevant. In fact, the exposure that it gives it gives you it gives you a, a very basic, very I wouldn't call it basic because a lot of that information is very relevant to me to date. Um, it gives you a very good foundation in different technologies, um, in in controls, in um, just the different domains. Basically, applied to the job practice areas that it would be relevant for. And IT security is fundamental and is a big, big part of this certification. So you are in the right place. If I were you, I would do this certification right away. And just to give you a bit of background as well, I did IT risk consulting. So somehow related to what you're asking about an IT risk analyst, and this really helped me. It helped um, me understand why we do certain things. Because of course, with IT risk um, assessments, audits, security audits, et cetera, you do follow a certain methodology that's already established, but just even having that understanding, being able to think out of the box, being able to um, identify things that you know are not part of the procedure, it only makes you stand out, it only makes you know exactly why you're doing what you're doing, um, and you just will be better at your job. So yes, CISA is for you. Um, moving on to the next question. Oh, so this one is just a comment from um, Black American um, Professional three months ago where you've asked, you basically just said that um, you're completing your MSc in forensic accounting and you're preparing to build your career and you just found out about CISA and you're looking into it. You, you put a date stamp of 14th September 2022. Congrats to you. And I hope that, you know, it's a successful journey. CISA is one of those qualifications that is just has one exam, which is so refreshing for me who did ACCA 13 exams. So, yes. If you want to do it, if you want to switch careers, if you want to boost your career, if you just want to increase your understanding of IT, CISA is the one for you. I know the name can be a bit misleading, Certified Information Systems Auditor. You can think it's just for IT auditors. No, it's literally gives you a very good understanding of IT. Um, just, you know how applications are set up. You don't even think about what is the infrastructure behind it. It just gives you a good, good foundation for anyone interested in technology consulting. I would definitely recommend it or security, cybersecurity, um, things like that. All right, um, next question. Did you get the CISA without the five-year experience requirement since you transitioned into tech? Also, do you have any best recommendations for study materials? Just on the last bit of that question, yes, I do have recommendations on study materials and I'll link the video where I discuss this in detail. Um, in terms of did I get it without the five-year experience requirement, I actually have a video on this as well, where I talked about um, how I got certified after I did my exam. But you do need, um, there are uh, waivers that you can get. For example, if you've done a university degree, you can get up to two years waiver on that. Um, so that reduces it to three years. And then also if you've done ACCA, that's a waiver as well. Um, actually in that video discover, I, I mean, 
<laughs> in that video, I discuss in detail different exemptions that can help you reduce the five-year requirement, but I used, so I personally use the fact that I have a degree. And also as much as I transitioned into tech, I was doing tech before, I was in IT risk. So all my experience in that role was very relevant. So I only really, by transitioning, I think you're meaning more like my degree because I did engineering degree and I'm working now in tech, but I've always been in tech. So check out that video, please. <laughs> um, that's A, who asked that question two months ago. And I'll just scroll through. Oh, yeah. Are there exemptions for ACCA students? Oops, sorry. Um, this is from Nobukosi Ndebele. Yes, there are exemptions. And I will tag that video because I discussed them in detail. Yes, there is an exemption, but it's not much. I think it's one year. You get one year uh, waiver. Um, if you do ACC, and it's not exemption to do the exam, you need to do the exam, it's just one exam, um, that's a very long exam, um, but then in terms of the experience requirements, yes, they do recognize that you've done ACCA, and actually, when you've done ACCA, you will find this uh, CISA much easier, because a whole domain one, the first chapter, domain one, is on controls, which is covered in detail in ACCA, so you do have an upper hand in that. All right, I think that's it for today. Um, because, of course, I don't want this to be too lengthy. There are quite a few comments to get through, but I will do more um, Q&A videos. So don't worry if I didn't get to your question. It will be picked up in future videos. Have a good week. Bye.